What's up, YouTube? Welcome to It's All Happening with Bethany. This is the first of many videos as I embark on a new adventure on the YouTube platform. Well, all right then, let's dive in. Today, I'd like to talk about why the COVID narrative won't die. How the woke left somehow found a way to make the black on black slap heard around the world about white supremacy. How Biden and Harris are bragging about their anti-lynching or anti-murder bill in 2022. And finally, we'll chat about celebrities weighing in on Ron DeSantis' anti-grooming or anti-gay bill. Well, okay then, here we go. Biden getting a booster while on stage during a press conference. Is this virtue signaling or to keep the COVID narrative alive? Now, with COVID being the furthest thing from people's mind right now, and apparently the journalist's mind as well, take a look at this. I don't know. It just seemed like such a strange thing for him to do to me. Kind of like they're just trying to keep COVID on our brain, just in case they got to pull that one out of their pocket right around those 2022 midterm elections. Anywho, moving on. Woke America blames white supremacy for the black on black slap heard around the world. So apparently Will Smith was not triggered by that comment at all. He was triggered by 400 years of black pain and trauma. Let's listen to this woke expert. 400 year commitment to black erasure, black marginalization, black silencing and the stereotyping of black people. All of that was present in a visceral felt and real way in the infamous. That is an interesting perspective. Now, other people in the woke mob believe that white people focused on this is because we are rooted in inherent racism. Will Smith is a victim here, and we are simply not allowed to speak about it because of the color of our skin. And let's be honest, this whole event happened because of us. It's our fault, and we only look at it through our white lens of racism. So we should simply just shut up and allow Will to be a victim. All right, what next? Breaking news, murder is now illegal. Biden exclaims that no federal law until now proclaims that lynching would be illegal. Now the last lynching in the United States was over 50 years ago. Should we now be illegalizing cannibalism or burning witches at the stake? Or is this oddly timed bill a clear sign of virtue signaling? I wanted to examine this by looking at the original definition of lynching. Lynching originally meant to be to kill somebody by hanging for an illegal offense with or without a trial. It then moved to any way that a mob administers justice to somebody without a trial. To the newest definition, violent public acts that white people use to terrorize and control black people. Now, lynching has been around for hundreds and hundreds of years, and it wasn't until 1886 that the number of black lynchings actually exceeded the number of white lynchings. Now, of course, everybody is opposed to hate crimes. But I think the issue here, when you look a little bit deeper into this actual bill and how they wrote this law, is that it's about just that, hate crimes. But they use the word lynching to virtue signal because no Republicans ever going to vote against a bill because that would be like saying you're pro lynching. Now also understand that in this day and age, a hate crime is only considered a white on black crime. If it's a black on white crime, it's simply called murder. Okay. The last thing that we'll be exploring today is Ron DeSantis new bill that is causing so much chaos. Is it an anti-grooming bill or is it a don't say gay bill? It appears that many celebrities are weighing in on this bill, and it is very clear to most of us that they didn't, in fact, read it. Now, most of the bill is about parental rights, but the one part that everybody is up in arms about simply says to not encourage sexual orientation speech in kids from kindergarten to third grade. This is a section of the bill that everybody is so fired up about. I've highlighted it for you. Go ahead and pause so you can take a closer look. Let's let the parents deal with that. Nowhere in there does it say not to talk about being gay. 
it doesn't say to talk about being heterosexual either. It says not to talk about any of it at all. Maybe just teach your ABCs, one, two, threes, history, science, and math. When I was that age, I don't even think I knew that my teacher had a first name. So again, my question to you is, is this grooming or is this offensive to the LGBTQ community? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Go ahead and put them in the comment section. Let's tackle these subjects together. So remember, we don't always have to agree with one another. We just have to understand where one another is coming from. It's all happening.